food. So this is the first key mannerism, my dear brother, my dear sister. Who are the people you are choosing as guests? Believe me, it has a major impact on the life of your spouse, your children, your future, your thoughts, the way you think, your ambitions, your vision in life. Your guest has that ability to shape your, to shape your future. Believe me, how many sins have people repented from because of a guest? And how many habits have people acquired very bad habits because of a guest? And a conversation that should not have happened. Agreed? Who are the guests? This is the first mannerism. And that is why the Messenger وسلم, he said, establishing this point, really take note of this hadith. I know you've come across it before. That which Bukhari and Muslim narrate on the authority of the companion Abu Musa al Ash'ari. He said, Alayhi salatu was salam, listen to this analogy. The example of the good friend and the evil friend is exactly like the example of the perfume seller and the, and the what? The blower of the bellows or the hammer smith. Yes? Listen to the analogy. The good friend, like the seller of a perfume. The evil friend, like the blower of the bellows, the hammersmith. A smelly and untidy and a fiery and a loud and noisy process. Yeah? He says, فَحَامِلُوا الْمِسْكِ إِمَّا أَنْ يُحْذِيَكْ وَإِمَّا أَنْ تَبْتَاعَ مِنْهُ وَإِمَّا أَنْ تَجِدَ مِنْهُ رِيحًا طَيِّبًا وَنَافِخُ الْكِيرِ إِمَّا أَنْ يُحْرِقَ ثِيَابَكْ وَإِمَّا تَجِدَ مِنْهُ رِيحًا خَبِيثًا He says, the seller of perfume will either gift you some perfume or you, or you may buy from him some perfume or minimally if you don't do either of those two he smells nice isn't it and then he said and as for the hammersmith he will either burn your clothes or minimally you will smell bad when walking away from him this is the example. So, so a good friend may offer you advice. He may give you nasiha. You may hear something from him or her that will change your life. Yes, and we alluded to this in the mannerisms of majalis gatherings, if you remember. Like somebody who's offering you perfume. And even if he doesn't speak, even if she doesn't speak, my sister will say, I just looked at her appearance and I noticed her hijab and it changed my perception of how I want to present myself in public till the day I, want, till the day I die. She never said anything. But like the perfume seller, you may at least just take a nice smell from them even when just interacting with them. Even if you don't buy or sell. Even if they don't give, gift you with any of the perfume. But the blower of the bellows, the hammersmith, what will he do? He will burn your clothes. Sparks going around everywhere. He will burn your clothes. An evil friend will damage your iman with habits and suggestions. Or minimally, you will just walk away from his gathering not smelling very nice. You come out feeling that your heart has become so hard from that gathering. You really didn't benefit. And it was a gathering that you could have done without.